Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video um, because I just learned about a new feature that Ancestry.com launched today for uh, anybody who's tested with, done a DNA test with Ancestry.com. Um, it's similar to a feature that 23andMe has already had on their site for some time, but the vast majority of folks that I know have tested on Ancestry.com. Um, and so this feature hasn't been available to them before now. So that's why I'm starting out on the 23andMe page in my test, um, just to show you what uh, the feature looks like on 23andMe and then show you what the feature looks like um, over on Ancestry. And I'll show you that in, in just a moment. So the feature that I'm talking about on 23andMe can be found in the Ancestry composition section of a 23andMe test. And here I am on my test. Um, when you click the Ancestry composition, you're initially going to get your ethnicity percentages over here. Uh, if you click on the scientific details tab, it's going to take you to another section which shows you or talks about the chromosome painting section. Um, so what you'll do is just click on that chromosome painting section and all of us um, who have done an autosomal test, um, what that test is testing for are your autosomal uh, 1 through 23 pairs of chromosomes that you get from both mom and dad. So if you remember what in science class looks like a squiggly little X, that's your chromosome. Half of that X you get from mom and half you get from dad, uh, with the exception of the 23rd chromosome, where men only get that from mom. Um, and then they get, of course, their Y DNA from dad. So this is my chromosome painting uh, on 23andMe. Um, because my parents' genetic makeups are so different, it's very easy for me to see which half of the chromosome pair I got from my mother versus which half I got from my father. So this is chromosome one, this is chromosome two, chromosome three, all the way down to chromosome 23, which is X, and it's gonna be labeled as X. Um, since I am genetically female, I got a, an X chromosome from my dad, which is this right here. The purple is the African DNA. And then I got half from mom. Um, and this is the European DNA that I received from my mother. Scroll up here. This is the European. My mother has tested on 23andMe as well. Um, she's 100% European. She did have some trace amounts that um, of, of other DNA that was more noise than anything else. And they kind of worked out um, the company worked that out once they refined their population references. Um, she is a hundred percent European, much to her ch uh, chagrin. She wants to, <laughs> she wanted some trace amounts of other stuff in there as well, um, but she is pretty much a hundred percent European. Um, so again, it's easy for me to just kind of hover over here and see all of the European DNA that I got, and and you know the top half is her. Uh, is the DNA that I got from her in that half of the chromosome. So I can see that I got the European DNA along all of my top halves of my chromosomes here. Um, and since my dad is black American, he does have European ancestry as well. And I've identified that through some of the former enslavers slash ancestors that I've identified through the research. So I can get to see his, you know, his half of the chromosome light up in blue where he got his European DNA, uh, which he then passed down to me. So it's a really neat tool um, and it does have some use. Uh, this is all his African DNA, um, the, the DNA that I got from him. Um, it does have some use as far as uh, research for researching your ancestors as well, especially if you have been able to identify the shared segment of DNA. Um, you can come here to that, uh, identify that shared segment of DNA and, and, and look to see, was that an ancestor who had European ancestry or was that an ancestor who had African ancestry or perhaps other ancestry, um, Asian or Native American or so forth. So it does help uh, in the research as well. So it's not just a pretty tool. Um, it, it does have that feature. It's nice to look at. It's nice to play with. Um, but it has some application for your research as well. So, and it's useful for your research. So 23andMe has, um, has had this feature for a while. 
Um, I've talked about it on some of the past calls that I've done with folks and showed it off to them as well. Um, so if you haven't tested on 23andMe, um, you might want to consider testing there um, when they have their next sale because you get this really neat tool that's really pretty and uh, to look at. It's really fun to play around with. Um, plus, it does have some benefit um, for your research if you're a you know an avid researcher and wanting to break down those brick walls. So I'm going to go over here to Ancestry.com. Um, and I have my tab. I have it already opened up. But when you go there and you get to your home page, you're going to want to go to your DNA results summary. Um, now, theirs is not going to show you what DNA you got on what chromosome and what segments, um, but it will show you your maternal, you know, which ethnicities you got from parent one versus parent two. Um, and hopefully they'll come out with, you know, further updates for um, for this new tool, again, that they just launched today. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can use it for some applications um, for the research as well. Maybe we can, you know, use it to break down some brick walls. But for now, um, again, it's, it's, more, it's fun to look at. Um, for those who have a known parentage, um, you can really see a distinction sometimes uh, between your two different parents as well. So it might be helpful for um, researching, you know, unknown parentage. Um, so what you would do is you go, you know, again, on that DNA, um, that DNA page, you're going to click to go into your DNA story. Um, this is where you're going to find a tool. You got to scroll down here a bit past your ethnicity estimate. And the new tool is here. Ethnicity inheritance, new. Your regions inherited from each parent. So there's you and what you got from parent one. And there's you, what you got from parent two. And of course, this full circle is you. So again, because my um, parents are so genetically different, uh, they're, at least on their ethnicities, um, it's really easy to see and identify which one of my parents um, I got what portion from or which one is parent one and which one is parent two. Um, <clears throat> I'll show my mom's as well in just a moment because it's really easy to tell which of hers are which parent as well, even though her parents are both deceased and neither have tested. Um, but because of what we know about their ancestry, I'm able to identify which one is parent one versus which one is parent two. So here we are on my ethnicity inheritance page. So that you get when you click that button to go into more depth on it. And I can see which one. So if I look at Germanic Europe, um, I click this, Wales, and I click this, England and Northwestern Europe. So 50% of me right here that I got from my mother, she had 100% of European DNA to give, and she gave 50% of it to me. So this is what I got from her as far as the Germanic Europe, um, the Welsh, which we already knew. We already knew about the Germanic Europe as well. And we already knew about the England and Northwestern Europe also. So again, I can tell she that my mom is parent too. My dad, on the other hand, again, who I got the African ethnicity from. So I see Nigeria here and I can just click through Cameroon. Congo and Western Bantu's people, peoples. He also had some Welsh ancestry, which I haven't fully identified yet in his uh, in the research on his lines, but it's there somewhere. He also had some England and Northwestern Europe, um, some Scotland, some Ivory Coast, Ghana, Benin and Togo, Mali, Senegal, Southern Bantu peoples. Southeast Asia, and Ireland. So again, I knew of some of these already, even the European, uh, the, the European that I got on my dad's side because of the research I've done. But for those of you who are still trying to break down those brick walls, this might uh, shed some in, insight for you as to what to pursue or what research avenues to pursue based on your genetic uh, ethnicity inheritance from your parents. So I'm gonna go over here Let's see, this is, yes, this is my mother's. So again, uh, my mother's parents, so my mother has tested, 
um, hopefully one day ancestry will will you know realize because yes that's it on ancestry they'll be able to to tell on my um, ethnicity inheritance they'll be able to just go ahead and say you know what we recognize this as your is your mom because she's tested as well um, but it's a new tool so I'm sure that they're gonna roll out updates um, so with my mother um, because her parents were pretty um, they, they, you know, their parents hailed from different parts of the world. It's fairly easy uh, for us to tell which uh, ethnicity inheritance, uh, which one is her parent one, which versus which one is her parent two. So right away, Germanic Europe stands out. So my mother's uh, mother was the, she was a first generation uh, born to parents who immigrated to the U.S. when they were children from Austria. And the ethnic group that they hailed from in Austria was um, a German ethnic group um, that pretty much stayed to themselves. Um, they didn't really mix with the, um, the Austrian, um, the other ethnic populations there in Austria. Um, they still retained German even when they came to the U.S. Um, my great-grandmother spoke German. Um, so we knew right away, parent one has to be my mother's mother. So as you can see, my parent two was my mother. So it's not necessarily going to, you know, to say, okay, mom is gonna be on the left or mom is gonna be parent one and dad is gonna be parent two. It's, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be consistent, at least not yet. Um, but if you do know some aspect of your ancestry, where your ancestors may have hailed from, how much genetic makeup they had of European or African or other, or what parts of the world they hailed from, you might be able to go ahead and discern which one is parent one versus which one is parent two. Um, you might need to look to some of the cousins' ethnicity inheritances as well um, if you're uncertain and if you can't distinguish which parent is which. But again, for my mother, it was very easy. Germanic Europe, Sweden, Denmark, Ireland, and some Eastern Europe and Russia. So then parent two, by deduction, is going to be her father, but we can still click on these, uh, these nice, um, I, like how, I like how this is something that you can navigate and click on and, and you know use and, and it'll light up. So England, Northwestern Europe for her father, Again, really consistent with the research and the paper trail that we have on his ancestors. Wales, um, I talk a lot about how my love of genealogy began and that was by pulling the book off my mother's bookshelf when I was a little girl. Um, that was about our ancestor named Hugh Hughes, whose children came to Pennsylvania in the 17, late 1700s, I think it was, um, from Wales. So I've always known you know, that we have Welsh ancestry um, and then Sweden and Denmark is another um, ethnicity inheritance that she got from her father's side. So again, just really neat to be able to see the breakdown. Um, unfortunately, it's not as advanced as the Ancestry composition on 23andMe yet. I'm hopeful and I'm hopeful that uh, Ancestry will continue to give us uh, tools that will help so many of us who have brick walls to uh, just continue to knock down some of those brick walls, um, identify segments of DNA, or at least identify ethnicities um, based on our, you know, our, our ancestors. So as the new tools keep rolling out, um, I hope to you know, continue to share updates with you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop you know, any questions in the comments. I'm new at doing YouTube videos, so I don't know how to do the subscribe stuff yet and uh, all that, but feel free to visit my blog at collectingkin.com. Um, if you're one of the folks in my little community that I'm building, um, hopefully uh, you can attend the monthly genetic genealogy discussion, the informal call that I have and ask me any questions directly. I will probably be going through this tool on that call as well for anybody who may have missed this video or has deeper questions that maybe I didn't cover in this video. So um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions.